So, what's new in ClickSense September 2017? Let's find out. Hey guys, this is Mike Tarallo with Click. In this video, I'm pleased to present to you what's new in our September 2017 release. This release isn't as packed as our June 2017 release. However, we do have a couple of new visualization features. We have some stability and performance improvements, as well as some additional enhancements to our visual data preparation interface. Let's take a look. The first one I'd like to cover is our new waterfall chart visualization. A waterfall chart is commonly used to visualize a series of positive and negative values. It shows how the initial value can be affected by a series of intermediate positive and intermediate negative values. With the initial and final values being represented as whole columns and the intermediate values represented as floating columns. Let's take a look at this to see how we can configure it. It is easily configured using measures or calculated expressions. In this example, I can visualize my total sales, which is representing positive, and my total cost, which represents negative, and see the resulting profit displayed as a subtotal. You can control a measure's operation, such as if it should be added to the previous measure, or subtracted, or even displayed as a subtotal. You can also define the color of the measures to distinguish between positive and negative values in the chart. The waterfall chart is definitely a welcomed addition to the ClickSense visualizations, especially to our financial services users. Next, I'd like to show you what improvements we've made to our visual data preparation interface. Now, in the last release, we added a number of data quality, data profiling, and data transformation features, including the ability for visual data prep to recognize tables created with load scripts. In ClickSense September 2017, we've enhanced this capability to now allow additional or continuous transformations on data that you might have already transformed. So what this means is, for example, if you created a new calculated field using our calculator, such as profit, which is sales minus cost, you can then take that profit field and add it into another step, such as binning, to create a new attribute. So you could identify, let's say, small, medium, and large profit values. This enhancement makes it possible to perform a series of transformations on fields and tables without having to go into the data load editor. Okay, so in the ClickSense September 2017 release, I am pleased to announce the availability of our iOS mobile offline app for ClickSense. The ClickSense mobile app allows you to work with your ClickSense apps both online and offline. To use a ClickSense app offline, you simply connect to your ClickSense Enterprise server and download the desired app to your device, and you can analyze your data just like you would if you were connected and now it is available in the Apple Enterprise App Store. Now, one other small enhancement I know all of you would be excited about is the ability to now create dynamic labels for your master items and your measures and dimensions. Yep, that's right. You can put an expression directly in the title section or the label section within master items or within the data section in the properties panel for a particular field, measure or dimension. So basically, while you're creating your master items, there'll be a little section with an expression window for title, and you could enter in whatever expressions you wish to make that title or label dynamic. Now, as always, there are other enhancements that are listed within our release notes. So please check out our online help and look at the release notes to see what other improvements have been added to ClickSense September 2017. I hope you enjoyed learning what's new within ClickSense September 2017. 
Please make sure to check out our other resources and videos on YouTube and the Click community. And also like and subscribe, and also comment where this video was posted. We value your feedback, and we want to hear from you. Thanks for your time, guys, and I'll see you on the next video.